Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes, and today I'm showing you how to string a mid pocket in your Nike Lakota with 15 millimeter East Coast mesh. Uh, so I'm sure a lot of you guys picked up Carolina Blue Lakotas from Lax.com when they had the deal the other day. Uh, we worked with them to bring that deal to you guys. I know a ton of you guys picked it up. So now that you have your Nike Lakota. I'm going to show you how to string a sweet mid pocket in it. Um, I'm going to be stringing mine in a white Lakota just so that you'll be able to see the strings better uh, for demonstration purposes only. But I did pick up a bunch of these Carolina Lakotas at all. I know a lot of you guys picked up East Coast Mesh as well with your Lakotas. I'm going to love to string it up. Um, so we're going to string a really nice mid pocket. Uh, this is what it's going to look like when you're done. Pocket's going to sit right in the middle of the head, uh, really nice and defined really awesome channel uh, this is the shooter setup that I've strung with it two nylons to use um, and uh, so in the end it ended up looking really nice and I'm going to show you guys the uh, the detailed sidewall tutorial for how to do this um, first you need to string a nine diamond top string I've got tutorials for the triangle and the regular that you guys can check out if you just search for them and uh, you also need to know how to do um, interlocks which most of you should know how to do by now if not uh, just search for how to string lacrosse knots. I've got a video that shows you uh, detailed how to string interlocks. And now we'll get into the detailed sidewall tutorial. All right, guys, so now we're going to learn how to string the mid pocket in the Nike Lakota. Uh, so, first, I've got my top string on the second sidewall hole, and that's just a normal or a triangle 9 diamond top string. You can do a normal one if you want. Uh, I've got tutorials for both. Um, so, that is on the second hole. So, we're going to be going. Uh, in through the outside of the third sidewall hole. And then we're going to go up through the bottom of the first hole mesh and then back around through the third sidewall hole again, the one that we started in, uh, just to make a loop there, kind of like an interlock, and pull that first diamond tight. Then come back up through the bottom of that mesh hole again. So when you're all done, it should look like that on the uh, on the third sabo hole with the first 10 diamond row mesh. Then we're going to skip two holes. So skip this one and this one coming down to this one and interlock the second mesh hole down to that sabo hole. So you can see we did the first tie on and the interlock, skipped two sabo holes and interlock. Then we're going to skip another sabo hole and come down to this first round one down here and interlock the third hole of mesh. So make sure to pull these uh, really tight as you go to create that tight channel. So you can see there's our interlock skip and another interlock. Then we're going to do a fourth interlock on the next sidewall hole right there. So you can see we didn't skip any. And then finally a fifth interlock on the next one without skipping any again. So, so far we've got five interlocks down the side, pulling this mesh very tightly to create a really nice channel for a mid pocket. Now we're going to double up to create the pocket. So go up and under the first mesh hole, and then around and up and under again the same way, and pull it a bunch together and go in through the outside of the next sidewall hole. So you bunch them up really tight so you can see there without skipping any. Then do a one, so up under the next sidewall hole, and in the outside, skipping a hole. So then we're going to skip one and go down to the next one. Another one, so up and under the mesh hole, skipping another sidewall hole, and coming down to this one. And finally, a one tie off, so just in through the back of the last diamond mesh and out through the bottom or through the inside of the very last sidewall hole. And when you're done, you should have a really nice mid pocket with a really nice channel. Um, and it should be a, a good pocket for pretty much any player. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial on how to string uh, your Nike Lakota. And I hope you, a lot of you guys string up your Carolina Lakotas uh, just like that. And if you do, make sure to send me some pictures. If you make a video, I'd love to see it if you use my pattern. Uh, I know a lot of people do use my patterns and tutorials, and they always love the pockets. And I always really like to see the results of how you guys do um, with my tutorials. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video. 
subscribe for more streaming videos and tutorials, and have a great day, guys.